from being a famous model in New York and Paris, all the way to fighting with actor Kirk Douglas over payment and a contract, we can surely say that Elsa Martinelli has done it all. So, stick around and continue watching to know more about the highly interesting life of this old Hollywood actress. Martinelli started out as a cashier girl. Born Elisa Tia on January 30, 1935 in Grosseto, Tuscany, Martinelli would soon move to Rome with her family. Her father Alfredo, was a railway station chief while her mother, Santina, was a housewife. When she was young, Elsa delivered groceries and worked as a bar cashier before her modeling career took off during her teenage years. In 1953, she met Roberto Capucci, who introduced her to the world of fashion and modeling. Soon after that, Martinelli became a model as well as began playing a couple of small roles in films. She was then featured in Roberto Capucci's first collection and modeled in Paris and New York for Ford Models. Her modeling career led her to be discovered by Kirk Douglas. Martinelli was quite involved in acting, appearing in Claude Autan Lara's Le Rouge et Le Noir, which was released in 1954, but her first important film role came the following year when she acted in The Indian Fighter alongside Kirk Douglas. While Martinelli was modeling, she was already on the upswing when a photograph of her in vogue was spotted by Mr. Douglas's wife, Anne Bidens. At that time Douglas was producing The Indian Fighter, a western, and was seeking an actress to play Onati, the daughter of a Sioux chief, who falls in love with his character, which was a scout leading a wagon train through Native American territory. He soon hired her for his production company known as Brina Productions. Douglas then recalled the moment he first saw Martinelli in a magazine after his wife had told him about her. He recalled that there was a shot of an Italian girl with long dark hair, dark eyes who was coming out of the water soaking wet with a man's shirt clinging to her voluptuous body. Mr. Douglas wrote more on his experience discovering Martinelli in his own autobiography The Ragman's Son published in 1988. He then added that his wife told him that this girl would make a fantastic Indian because she did look quite terrific. Douglas then tracked her down in New York, but when he spoke to her by telephone, Martinelli was skeptical that it was the real Mr. Douglas calling, until he sang a song from his film 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. She ended up on bad terms with Douglas. Ms. Martinelli had relatively few lines in The Indian Fighter, but Variety's reviewer noticed her sensual and attractive persona and the relationship of her Indian-made character with Douglas. She eventually wanted out of the contract she signed with Mr. Douglas. He wrote that he ended the deal because she was impatient about the money she was being paid. However, Martinelli insisted that she ended it after he lent her to Universal Pictures to appear in Four Girls in Town, which he called a super horrible film. She told United Press International in 1961 that she thought if he would do this for money, she would leave. In 1956, Martinelli was considered by the Sydney Morning Herald as somewhat of an Audrey Hepburn with more feminine appeal. Life magazine extolled her fashion sense but noted how limited her film wardrobe had been in one of the magazine's photo spreads. In The Indian Fighter, the magazine said that Martinelli took off the squaw dress only long enough to cause a momentary sensation by wearing nothing at all. And if that wasn't enough, the great Italian director Vittorio De Sica later called her the most stylish woman he had ever seen in the world. After her experience working for Douglas, her acting and modeling career continued to shift between Europe and Hollywood. Martinelli reached her peak in the 1960s when she won the Silver Bear for Best Actress at the 6th Berlin International Film Festival for her flawless performance in the hit Italian comedy movie Donatella. Directors she worked for during this period included Orson Welles in the movie The Trial, Roger Vardim in Blood and Roses and Elio Petri in The Tenth Victim. Her husband was disowned by his mother just for marrying her. In 1957, she supposedly married Count Franco Mancinelli Scotti di San Vito. However, Mancinelli's mother never liked his son being linked to the actress and kicked him out of their palace in Rome. According to several reports, the relationship between them was broken after several years. In 1968 Martinelli married Willie Rizzo, the Paris match photographer and furniture designer, who died in 2013. He inspired Martinelli to work as an interior and fashion designer as well. 
Martinelli was always filming during the 60s. Throughout the late 1960s, Martinelli divided her time between Europe and the United States, appearing in films such as Four Girls in Town with Julie Adams, Manuela with Trevor Howard, Prisoner of the Volga with John Derrick, Hatari. With John Wayne, The Pigeon That Took Rome with Charlton Heston, The VIPS with Elizabeth Taylor and Richard Burton, Rampage with Robert Mitchum, Woman Times Seven with Shirley MacLaine, and Candy with Marlon Brando. She also worked in European films, mostly foreign language productions. In Hatari, which was released in 1962, Martinelli portrayed a photographer nicknamed Dallas working with a group, led by Wayne, trapping African wildlife for sale to zoos. Her character's attachment to the film's scene-stealing elephant calves was captured memorably in scenes featuring the composer Henry Moncini's song Baby Elephant Walk. She told Cinema Retro in 2012 that she had gone to the location a month before the rest of the cast when the elephants were being born. She then revealed that the trick for elephants to trust her was for the actress to feed them right away. She also added that that is how she somehow became their mother. They got used to her and would follow her everywhere, thus making it easier to shoot the film. Her character was also Wayne's love interest. Miss Martinelli not only attracts elephants, the New York Times addressed, but also has eyes for that rugged buana, Mr. Wayne. Martinelli's last English language role was as Carla the Agent in Once Upon a Crime, released in 1992 where she acted alongside John Candy. Her final acting appearance was in the 2005 European television series Orgolio as the Duchessa di Monteforti. She wouldn't recognize herself when watching her movies. After the Locarno Film Festival in Switzerland paid tribute to her in 2012, she told Cinema Retro that she liked watching her films, but thought of herself on screen as someone else. She said that she does not get how other actresses look at their movies and say, I could have done this, or I could have done it that way. What Martinelli thought when she saw herself on screen was that she was acting perfectly fine. The actress has sadly passed away in Rome at the age of 82. Her daughter, Christiana Mancinelli Scotti, claimed that the cause of her mother's death was cancer. In addition to her daughter, Ms. Martinelli is also survived by two grandchildren, two great-grandchildren, and several sisters. Well, that's all for this video everyone. If you enjoyed it, continue watching our next video on this series.